Hey YouTube, well as promised, this is a video about my favorite hard use steel, we'll call it. Good for heavy choppers, but also for smaller but tough knives too. Can you guess what the steel is? All right, this is my Ontario Afghan. You can check out the review of this, how it got its stripes, so to speak. And this is made of 5160 high carbon steel. Very nice knife. One of the things I like about this steel is check out how check out how worn out the tip is. At least the finish is worn off. But that tip is still just as pointed. It's just a very tough and durable steel. Now here is a knife that I have not used and that is because this is one of the most expensive fixed blades that I currently own. But this steel is 5160 just as that steel is and you know I wouldn't have purchased this so it, it's kind of a grail knife as far as fixed blades. I certainly wouldn't have purchased this if I didn't believe in the steel. This is made by Calico Forge. It just seems like a lot of my blades that can really take abuse are 5160. This is a Topps Power Eagle. You can check out the review of that. Nice my card on that. One of the best blades by Topps, period. And again, this is 5160, and this takes this can take a tremendous use and abuse. Right, now, what is this? What is this monster from from the jungles? Uh, I took this off of Rambo. No, no. This is the real. If if Rambo were real, this would be the machete he really uses because it is from the jungles of Thailand. It's a you know kind of a flared dow pattern, a hilt tang. All right, so you can mount this on any sort of shaft you want and you know you could make basically a pole arm or a, I guess a Thai version of a tomahawk but as ugly as this looks this thing is tough as crap easily take off a hand tree limbs what have you and of course this beast is 5160 as is my other uh, Aranyuk I have here Convex Edge, and I've tested this one too. These are sold out, by the way. I can't do anything about that, but yeah, Aranyaks are currently sold out, unfortunately. But this is a beast. Uh, they have footage of one like this being batoned through huge logs and through a tree stump. And that is also 5160. Now this uh, 5 Chira Kukuri, same idea, kind of the same idea as that Thai Enep. An unbreakable beast. You, you cannot break this. More than a quarter inch thick at the spine. And this is also 5160. Alright, and not a heavy chopper, but this uh, Hanway Tactical Wakazashi. Believe it or not, they made this out of 5160. Uh, you know, for, for practical reasons, for reasons of cost, but also they didn't want it to break. They wanted it tough, so. And the katana from this same series is also 5160. And last but certainly not least, my Chris Cutlery Barong's traditional blade design of the Philippines. This is 5160. This is the Pula Barong. I have used this, but I have not done a review on it yet. But you can see the marking. You know, I repolished it, but you can see the marks there. That's where I was chopping. And some marks on the tip. Testing it out. I did review this ages ago. Alright, and this is their Combat Barong. The only difference being this has somewhat longer handle which I've put a nice wrap on. I'll review this in the future. But as you can see, um, all around the world, from the USA to the Philippines to Thailand uh, to Nepal, 5160 known and respected for hard-use blades. 
All right, and this is not going to be some super technical description of the steel. I'm trying to give you what you can't see by memorizing a chart. You know, if you want to see it in action, like I said, check out the testing video of this blade, you know, to see the things you would see uh, in use, the steel in use. Now, some people don't like 5160. Um, it is in common use all around the world. Um, and some people take that as a bad thing. Oh, oh, it's just, it's just used because it's, it's cheap. It's widely available. Well, it is widely available. All right. But that's not a bad thing. What that means, what that means, here, let me just wave this around so you have some eye candy. Because it's widely available, um, people all around the world know how to work with this steel. You know, whether knife maker in the USA, this, this knife was forged by a blacksmith, that Calico Forge. Knife maker in the USA, uh, to a blacksmith in Thailand, you know, Philippines, uh, Nepal, India. Everyone is familiar with this steel and people all around the world know how to get the most from this steel. So as far as it being widely available, that's true. And that is a good thing in my book. Uh, the steel has never let me down. You know, as far as why, why are high carbon steels often favored uh, for hard use uh, outdoors knives and especially uh, larger choppers? Well, it, it comes down to toughness, ease of resharpening, uh, you know, why, scientifically, why are they good? Well, you know, I'm not a scientist. I, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's like I said, it's never failed me. So, of course, I'm going to like that steel. You know, will, will technology continue to advance? Well, obviously, but this is tried and true, right? Like I said, uh, technicians, knife makers, blacksmiths all around the world know how to get the best from this steel. All right, YouTube, and you know what is your what are your favorite steel? Obviously, you know I'm trying to keep it a short video, so I only list one steel. I know a lot of people are going to say 1095 is also a great steel. I definitely have a lot of 1095, but overall, you know my favorite, everything considered, is 5160. All right, YouTube, this has been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.